I'm Dan Drake. This is Front Up on Visitor Network TV and Channel 99. With us today is Georgia Raisman, the uh, publisher of the Nantucket Chronicle, a relatively new publishing venture on Nantucket. Welcome, George. Thank you. Glad to so have nice you here. So nice to be here. To Thanks talk for about the, the Nantucket Chronicle. Uh, you've been going now for what, three years or close to it? Just about three years, yep. Uh, what was the impetus? Um, it started when a friend of mine messaged another friend of mine on Facebook, mm -hmm. and by the way, I'm a great Facebook fan, um, saying that this is what Nantucket needs, and he sent his other friend a patch.com link. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you know patch.com, it's an attempt to bring journalism online, local journalism online. And I looked at the link and I thought, we don't need a patch.com. We have mm. the Inky, which is wonderful for local news. But wouldn't it be great if we had a local website by and for Nantucketers? And that was what was the impetus. Mm. So I thought, I would like to do that. And my husband said, somebody has certainly done that already. So we looked and nobody had done it already. So it's by and for Nantucketers. It's not intended for tourists and it's not intended for journalism. So, it, well, it's, it is a form of journalism. A uh, form of journalism, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a magazine. It's not uh, news journalism yeah, in that sense, uh, yeah. Um, so you sort of stayed away from the, from the cats and the trees and the what's happening now. Well, since. we try to cover what real Nantucket is to people who live here year-round. And uh, we do that by and bringing on all of our various captains who are responsible for different areas of Nantucket life that they mm. personally are passionate about. Mm -hmm. So it could be uh, Peter Brace, who likes to write about the natural world, or Sarah Boys, who writes about little, literally natural history and invasive plants and unusual bugs, or Hilary Newell, who writes about plants and gardening, mm -hmm. or Marsha Egan, who writes about business, because she's a business coach. That's very exciting for her. So we, we bring on all of our people who are passionate. And the, we, the reason I have to do that is I can't pay them. Mm -hmm. I don't pay them um, as a newspaper or... Well, join the club. Publication <laughs> would, right, right. But we are. We do, we do, I do give them some money. Well, I maybe I should say money. I'm a member of that club. Well, we do, what we do is we have a revenue sharing model, mm -hmm. which everybody up here understands immediately. It's just like mm -hmm. the whale ships. Mm -hmm. Um, our, we, do get, we do derive revenue from internet ads and from our marketplace and from our Nantucket Local Favorites mm -hmm. app. Mm -hmm. um, and from those places, we, we end up giving 65% of it back to the people who contribute to the Chronicle. That's an interesting model. Is it, is, it, is it used elsewhere, do you know, or did you develop this yourself? Not that I yourself? know of. Not that I know mm -hmm. of. It, again, it came out of penury. I mean, it just mm -hmm. came because I can't afford to pay people. It wasn't that I was trying right. to be inspirational. Mm -hmm. But I think it works here because it's such a collaborative effort getting an, a publication mm -hmm. like this online and with enough interesting content week after week that it has to be something you're incentivized to mm -hmm. do because you really love your community and you love your uh, your platform. I'm really giving people a platform to write about what they're passionate mm -hmm. about. Um, where do you see it going? Well, locally, we've we've expanded the platform and it's changing a bit. Mm -hmm. it, it was, I thought of it originally as an online magazine about Nantucket life, um, and it's becoming more of a blogging platform mm -hmm. in a way. Um, because as a magazine, it was a little ambitious to try to decide you're going to cover every single aspect of Nantucket life. But as a blogging platform, when you're bringing on people who are passionate, mm -hmm. um, it can be about those areas we talked about, but it, it's also expanded to include videos. So we had Greg Hinson's video of Camp Richard, Safe Camp Richard, mm -hmm. um, that was put up this week. And people can post them themselves. They don't have to come through me or anybody else. It's so a, you, you, it's don't, you don't edit them? Uh, I would edit if they were offensive, but they've mm. not been offensive so far. Uh, I mean, if, if the writing needed... I tweak. Uh, I know one of your writers, at least, sometimes needs I some tweak. help. I do tweak. <laughs> yeah, if I see something that's egregious, I think it's egregious or ungrammatical or just mm -hmm. a typo, I will, I will correct that. But I don't edit otherwise. Uh -huh. We also have a podcast platform now. We, uh, there's a young man on, a man on island named Doug Cote who does podcasts called Inside the Whale. Mm -hmm. And his podcasts are interviews with people on Nantucket, characters on Nantucket. And since he's new to the island, all of these characters are interesting to him. Mm -hmm. So people we've known for years, he'll say, wow, did you know, mm -hmm. and, and talk about it. And so he gets some wonderful interviews and we put them on our platform as well. So we have videos, we have podcasts, we have a radio show now mm -hmm. on the NPR affiliate called Balancing Act, which is a wellness show. Mm -hmm. And um, so we, took, we do kind of do, oh, we have Humans of Nantucket. That's the best. I, I don't saw, know yeah, if you said, I, have you I seen saw, Humans of I New have. York? It's that yeah. very big right. blogging platform. Yeah. Well, here, 
we enlisted Rachel Amaral, who mm. is a young photographer and native Nantucketer. Mm. And she talks to people that she knows and she captures these wonderful moments of their, what they're mm. thinking about and of their, uh, how they look and does these great portraits. How many subscribers do you have? We don't have a whole lot of subscribers as such, about a thousand, but we have had almost 150,000 people looking at the site. And mm. in any given week, week during the summer, we'll have 4,500 or 5,000 people looking at the site mm -hmm. and maybe half of that in the winter. How, how, how do you get the word out? Social media. It's not easy. It, um, that's why I'm happy for mm -hmm. this opportunity because we do social media. We're very, very active on Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, that sort of thing. And then you do something like this? And then I do something like that. That is a, what I have learned is a rack card. Mm -hmm. I've never known about them before. And as if your content is all online, the way you can give somebody something to carry around in their hand is to give them a rack card, which we have out in many of the public places, the Bean and all of the other coffee shop places, uh, visitor services. And this describes some of the content. Yes, of your it comes out approximately quarterly, and I, I'll pick fa five or ten. I'll ask my captains mm. what they think their favorite post is of the last few months, and we'll put that up with a QR code. So mm. if you are waiting around for somebody who's shopping, or if you're just looking for something to read, you scan it, it pops up on your phone, and you can read that post. And of course, from there, you can go to any yeah. post on our site. And this is your logo, right? Yeah. Yeah, That's Barbara cool. Gookin. Barbara Gookin designed that from a folk art piece mm -hmm. that I had. And it's perfect because it's a whaling, a Nantucket whaling captain. That's right. And then on the back? On the back is a photograph that Barbara also took, Nantucket, from a local perspective, uh, which mm. is what we are, what we're all mm. about. What's the favorite story of all of them that's run that you, <sighs> you really know, latched on to? A couple of things. In the winter, it was the sad things. It was when Bam Lafarge died. Mm -hmm. um, or it was very, very, those were hard, and lots and lots of people looked at them. On an ongoing basis, Dorothy Stover writes a Freaky mm -hmm. Friday column, mm -hmm. and people love her Freaky Friday column. It's all about love and advice for people in their 30s, and she's on to every topic you can think about, and it's very, very popular. She tells me that people accost her Friday mornings and say, it's Friday, where's the post? So <laughs> she's, she's got it. She's really got quite a mm. following about that. That's great. Um, what is this? We did that this summer. This was done early summer by Melanie Gowan, who is a Chronicle Captain for Design and Lifestyle. And she put together what we call Nantucket's 10 Local Best Things. And they are things that Nantucket Chronicle captains suggested that you might want to do. If you are a new subscriber mm -hmm. to our newsletter, you can download one of those, and it's mm -hmm. great. It's everything from my contribution, which is picking up eggs at the lumber yard, to looking for heart-shaped stones in Kotu, and anything one can think of. Going Collecting out to rocks on Quidnet Beach? Right. Yours is first. My, that was flattering of her, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So Picking cover, berries cover, cover at, at Moore's End Farm and walking the dogs. Right, and then Peter Brace's is last, which mm -hmm. you will appreciate. It's the last element of Nantucket style. I'm missing it here, anyway. I should have opened it for you. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, his, he, his favorite thing is going casual on Nantucket. Mm -hmm. And as you know from Peter, he's always casual. Anything that goes. Yeah, here. we don't have room on our in our chair for his dog anymore. Mm -hmm. He used to bring the dog in for his, the interview. Does he? Is he? Has she gotten that big? Well, no. We had his couch. Now we have a chair. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does wonderful photography when he's out because of that dog. So we're all we all benefit from that. Um, so where where do you see this going? Well, I would like to, and this is something Gina will, uh, will appreciate, I think. I think this is a platform that can be used in any aspirational community. Mm -hmm. I think if you are f want to know more about Greenwich or Palm Springs or m maybe Mount Desert or uh, Palm Beach and you are not living there all the time, you would be interested in a local platform that tells you what people who live there are mm -hmm. doing and thinking about and what's passionate to them. So I could see it being planted as another business in other locations, um, because we've got the platform. We have, have people the come software. to you, sort of ask you for one or two, mm -hmm. yeah. And with, we would think about that. It's because it, at this point, it's just about ready, I think, to be put someplace else. It's got a lot of capability, a lot about of functionality. Ready now. to fledge? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I, ha I do have to ask you about one topic, uh, which is a very big topic on the island these days. What have you have you covered the housing uh, issue very much? We did actually. It's a seasonal resident who's a captain, Sherry mm. Lefebvre, who mm. is a writing professor mm. in Philadelphia and a preservationist. Mm -hmm. But she has become very interested in the Nantucket, in Nantucket housing issues and wrote a wonderful mm -hmm. post last week and then a follow-up post this week on how to, how to what, what, who we should consider in going forward with housing planning. And her post was called The Invisible Islanders. And it had mostly to do with rent, the rental issue and mm -hmm. the fact that there's so many people who can't find places to rent or find unsatisfactory places to rent. And that maybe when we're focusing on the six or seven hundred thousand dollar house, which was what mentioned a lot at town meeting, mm -hmm. we should be focusing instead on rental housing. But she's got several. It's the first of a series. It was very well mm -hmm. researched and very well written. I thought. Has she got, a lot has of the, attention. Has it gotten comments? A back? lot of comments. Yeah, I'll yeah. Have to, I'll have to go read that. Yeah, and then a... she did a follow up, and now her second post had to do with um, reviving the commune idea which is really not a bad mm -hmm. thought for Nantucket, and maybe some way we could think of something we mm. could think of encouraging. Good. Well, thank you very much, Georgia You're very Raisman, welcome. the thank publisher you. of the founder and publisher of the Nantucket thank Chronicle. Thank you so much for letting me talk and, on about uh, it. Uh, we best of luck to you as you go Thanks. forward.